Trader more. Joe's taste test. We're both quite hungry, ready to this dive is my in. This breakfast. This is our breakfast. <laughs> yeah, we're lunch. very excited. And lunch, we'll see about that. We have lots of goodies, some old favorites, some new items, and excited to dive in. So basically, we'll try everything and we'll rate it from one to five stars. Five stars, of course, being the best. So that's the plan. Where do we even begin? I also uh, have some other home stuff that I'll show you guys later that, of course, we're not going to be eating. Do the ice cream since they okay. melt. Hold the cone, starting out with a sweet note. These are a classic. We've had these before. They're the peppermint, or is it candy cane? Peppermint. Peppermint, hold the cone. I'm going to give you a close-up peek. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, you can take the first bite. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. It's nice and pink inside. Super cute, super cute. I honestly am not in the mood for ice cream right now, but there we go. I'm trying to remember what we rated it last year. Probably like a four, but mm, that's, that's really yummy. <laughs> Maybe it got even better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good to start. Three, two, one. 4.5. <gasps> Whoa, I feel like that's the first time where you had a higher rating on something. That was excellent. Maybe I'm Usually just so Usually he's hungry. so critical, I yeah. But that was super good. <laughs> Your standard's lower because you're so hungry. Okay, let's move these to the side. I think they'll be okay. Should we put them in the freezer? Okay. okay. Well, gotta protect them. They're so prized nice. possessions. We tried to pick out a few more savory things this time because typically it's just a bunch of sugary stuff and then we just have sugar overload. So we tried to pull some savory stuff. Let's do the chestnuts. Go for it. Or do you need something else sweet? I was going to say we, I can do more sweet since we probably have more of that than savory stuff. So okay, we'll do I one don't more really sweet know what those taste like though, so I, maybe they're sweet. Enough. Yeah, we, we don't know if we've ever had chestnuts. Chestnuts roasting by an open fire. It's so Christmassy, but I don't think I've ever had <laughs> You looked at me like I was crazy. I'm trying to tie it in, the chestnuts, into the Christmas spirit, you there know? You it's very Christmassy. Are we trying all of these? Yeah, Probably we gotta sure. try all of them. Okay, so this was interesting. I have never seen this before. We you know what to go for first. So this is the JoJo's Astounding Multi-Flavor JoJo's Assortment. So it's a mix of four different flavors. We have the peppermint, peanut butter, what else? Vanilla ginger and double chocolate. So I thought this was so fun and the packaging is beautiful. So it's a cute gift idea. Is this the peanut butter? It is. I don't think I've ha had a peppermint, I mean a peanut butter JoJo before. Hmm. I'm not crazy about it. Next up is vanilla ginger, and we're gonna rate all the cookies at the end. Yeah, neither of us are really excited about this. I like ginger, but it kinda looks like a lot of white chocolate. I think some people would love that. Okay, this one's the peppermint chocolate covered JoJo's. We know we love these. I don't know if we even have this one either. Oh. Yeah, the double chocolate. I don't think you got it. Go first. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that double chocolate one might be my favorite. Okay, peanut butter JoJo rating. One, two, three. Four. Three. I didn't love it. I thought I would because I love peanut butter and chocolate, but it's not my favorite. Ginger, vanilla, vanilla ginger. Vanilla ginger. Uh, two for me. Two. Nice. <laughs> okay. And peppermint? Uh, that's like five. That's a five. <laughs> and then the double chocolate. Uh, for me, like it's a three five. And a half. Really? I love it. Maybe I can. I saw a peppermint lingering, so maybe I can taste it. It's full. Oh yeah, I did kind of. Yeah. Well, I would, I would definitely recommend this. I think it's such a fun assortment. Yeah. Overall, yeah. Four. Put it out for a Christmas party. Four. It's amazing. Yeah, I love it. 
Okay, should we wash it down with this sparkling honey crisp apple juice? That sounds really good. Yeah, this sounds oh, amazing. It comes in crisp. the little can, and it wasn't in the cold <laughs> section, just so you know. So it was just with the canned goods in one of the aisles, but it sounds amazing. Honey crisp apple juice, water, and carbon, di carbon dioxide in the ingredients. Oh, yum. It's like sparkling apple juice. That's so yummy. Okay, let's rain it. Three, two, you're not ready. Five. Four and a half. That's so yummy. That's and you could make like good. a fancy drink with it. I love it. Okay, let's try these chestnuts. So I'm so curious. You heated these up? Yeah, I heated these up. These are peeled and cooked chestnuts. So we didn't need to roast them by an open fire because they were already <laughs> roasted. But basically you can just snack on these like a regular nut or put them in different recipes. Oh my. I wish it was crunchier. Yeah, I don't think so. It's very soft. Maybe if I put them on the skillet a little longer or maybe they're just, they probably are always soft because it says they're peeled. So it probably has a, okay. The flavor isn't bad. It's just the texture for me that I'm not loving. But I'm sure there's other ways to prepare it. Are you ready to rate it? I'm ready. Three, two, one. one Three. One and a half. Ooh, ouch. Okay. You didn't like the flavor either? No. Now we know. Now how... <laughs> now we know. Now we know how we feel about chestnuts. How <laughs> I many times are you going to say, now we know? Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> now we know. How we, now we know. We don't need to roast them by an open fire. We don't need to buy them. <laughs> or buy them. Okay, what should we do now? I don't really know what's in front. Yeah, we have a lot of sweet stuff. Let me just give a shout out to this dog advent calendar. I'm so excited. I'll give one to Palmer later. His first one will open up, but how cute is this? I was so excited that I found one and they also have one for cats. Yum, you get a salmon, what is this? Salmon and sweet potato dog treat. Be a good boy. On Santa's nice list. Ooh, that smells like salmon. This is what it looks like. Uh-uh, sit. Yes, good boy, good boy. Oh, so that's a double chocolate hot cocoa stirring spoon with mini oh. marshmallows. I'm not gonna open that right now, but it's super it? cute. This is a fun thing. Yeah, you can just eat it, but we'll save it for a hot cocoa night. Shall we have some cheese? Let's do some cheese. Let's do some cheese. That sounds okay. delightful. So there weren't really, I didn't notice any specific Christmassy cheese. I think they had the baked lemon ricotta again, which we were not into whatsoever. Some people love it though. So if you like sweet cheeses, definitely give it a try, but it's not our thing. We did find this Asiago cheese with rosemary and olive oil. It looks really good. We'll try it by itself first. Oh, I love that. Let me give you a close up because you can see the little pieces of rosemary in it. Yum. I love how Asiago tastes similar to Parmesan. But look at all that at the bottom. Yum, yum, yum. You like it? Mm -hmm. And then I also pulled out our favorite, well, my favorite, British mustard and ale cheddar cheese. I. They've had this for how many months have we seen it? Oh, Probably like five months now. Earlier this year or sometime? Yeah. It's so delicious. I feel like it would be great for holiday parties and a holiday cheese board because I don't know, it just fits with it, but this is probably, this probably That's takes really the cake good. over the unexpected cheddar cheese oh, for me. I don't know about that. No? <laughs> so good. We also picked out these crackers, which, they're great entertainment crackers. The scalloped cracker trio, rosemary, red chili, and garlic crackers. Again, just really great for the holiday season. Not specifically like holiday flavored, but would be great. You wanna try these now or? Yeah. You wanna rate them? Okay, let's rate our cheeses first. Okay. Asiago cheese with rosemary and olive oil. Three, two, one, five. Four. I feel like I'm just being generous with my fives today, but it's really good. And I am really hungry, so <laughs> that definitely gives them an advantage. Okay, British yeah, mustard and ale cheddar cheese. Three, two, one, 10. Four. 
That's just off the charts. You can't Is do that, that cheating? You can't do that. Okay, then five. <laughs> okay, so you want to try all three crackers or should we just try one of them? Let's try them all. Okay, here's a garlic cracker or part of it. It started crumbling. Oh! <laughs> cracker down. Here's another one. Okay. We'll just rate this box as this a is whole. Garlic. Is that good? Because these are. Mm -hmm. mm. The rosemary would taste so good with the Asiago and rosemary cheese. Do it. Mm. I'm gonna mm -hmm. cut you a piece. Okay. And can you give me a cracker? I love this trio. Mm -hmm. And it's fun because you can kind of cater it to whatever mood you're in yeah. or whatever cheese you have. I love crackers and cheese. Mm -hmm. Trader Joe's has the best cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's rate the cracker trio. Wow. Three, two, one. Four, Four and a half. Nice. Cool. Love it. Okay, so while we're having the cheese and crackers, let's wrap up our cracker munching with these traditional Southern Italian crackers. How fun are these? They look like little cracker nuggets. They're so cute. I am excited. Seen anything like that? There's different shapes and stuff. I don't know. I think they're all the same flavor though. Try it by itself. Mmm. Traditional Southern Italian sorts. I like that. It's very bready. It's almost crouton like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like it? It's it's dry. I will say they are dry, but they're fun. They're unique. What do you rate it? Uh, three. I give it a four. Yeah. Okay, Not should bad. we switch it up for something sweet? Let's do it. Okay, let's just get right oh, to five. our favorite. <laughs> the Jingle Jangle Tins. These are amazing. So. This is an assortment of different candy treats. So there's dark chocolate covered caramel popcorn, there's milk chocolate candies, dark chocolate enrobed Jojo cookies, milk and dark chocolate mini peanut butter cups, and milk and dark chocolate covered pretzels. They have it all and it's so good. I love the dark chocolate appreciation in this yeah. tin. <laughs> we already cracked this open. This is the first thing we opened once we left Trader Joe's because we are just obsessed. Look at that. So good. We were talking last night about which one we think is our favorite within this tin. And which, what did you say? I said <clears throat> the JoJo's. Mm -hmm. Although change that. Maybe the dark chocolate popcorn actually. The dark chocolate so popcorn good. is so super good. I love the pretzels. I truly, this is something where I love every single yeah. part of it. I could do without the milk chocolate covered pretzels because I just love dark chocolate, but even those are delicious. Do you want more right now? Yes, but no. <laughs> yes, but no. Okay. Maybe we can switch to this. We've never had this before. This is sweet and salty. So it's a snack mix, and it's a mix of chocolate drizzled and salted snacks. I like this concept because like we mentioned, we kind of have sugar overload this time of year, so it's nice mm -hmm. to have a little sweetness, a little saltiness. What all is in there? Tells you on the back? Yeah, so we have mini peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets, half dipped <sighs> chocolate covered potato, potato chips. chips, that's fun. Chocolate drizzled caramel popcorn, roasted and salted Virginia peanuts. Okay, I'm excited for the potato chips. Yeah, me too. It's interesting. Mm. Okay. I feel like you have to snack on this one for a while to get a full analysis. Okay. Three, two, one. Four. Four. That's yummy. Yeah. I think it's fun. I love the it jingle is. jangle more, but this yeah. is a great option too. Okay. For sure. We also picked up two different kinds of potato chips. Again, these aren't like necessarily holiday, but I've never tried them before and they kind of look, I don't know. They really don't look more wintry. I was trying to harvesty. tie it in. Yeah, they do look harvesty. Okay, so we have the dark russet potato chips and the sweet potato potato chips. Sweet potato chips. I don't need to say potato twice. Sweet potato potato chips. Okay, starting out with the sweet potato. I love how thin and crispy these are. You definitely have that sweet potato flavor. 100%. Okay. Three, 
two, one, three. Four. Nice. I like them, but it, I don't love them. Yeah, uh, three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> Did I influence your yeah. rating? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, dark russet potato chips. Never the had these before. Salty thing. Yeah, this is the last salty thing. You want to save it? Yeah. Okay, we'll save it. All right, let's wash our palette or cleanse our palette with this sparkling cranberry flavored juice blend. Ta da! I plan to make a fun holiday drink with this, so we'll give it a little taste test. I like cranberry juice. Do you? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, it's got the nice bubbly top, nice carbonation. Yummy, yummy. Not as yummy as the <laughs> honey crisp apple juice, in our opinion. Three, two, one, three. Three and a half. It's good, but compared to this. Yeah, that's <laughs> very good. Yes. Okay, how about we do our Scandinavian tidings? You remember these? We've had these before. Oh. I love Scandinavian culture, so I always love to pick these up. So this bag is filled with good tidings in the form of holiday-inspired shapes. And they're bright and fruity, sweet and chewy. These gummies are sure to shine in a festive candy bowl or a gift basket. Agreed. So they look just like regular gummies, but to me they taste a lot different, the consistency. So, I want to see what you think. Good. You like it? At yeah. first, I didn't love it, but they're growing on me. Like, I like them a lot more this year. I've had them in the past, and they typically have some kind of Scandinavian gummy all year round, like in different flavors. But yeah, I like it. I'm still not a big gummy gal, but. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Do you have your rating? Yeah. Three, two, one. Three, three. and a half. Nice. I know, I almost went with a four, but when I compare it to everything else, you can't go that high. All right, should we do the peppermint bark? Let's do it. The little tin is adorable. Very Christmassy. We have that before? I don't know. No, I've had with like William Sonoma. Yeah. I don't know if we've had some very good before. This is fancy. Oh, it's thick. Oh, this is thick. The William Sonoma one is usually like not as yeah, put wow. together as this. It's very fancy. I'll give you guys a closer look. Closer peek. Oh, is it gonna break your jaw? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's pretty. I plan to make a fun coffee with this. Oh wow. Crunch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Three. Two, one, Five. four. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Super good. Okay, we're, we're getting to the end. We're getting close to the end because mm. all of this stuff up here is just kind of fun home stuff and stuff we're not going to try right now. Do you want to try one of these cookie mug holders or you just remember how it is? Both. Both? <laughs> okay. So these are the cookie mug hangers and I love these. They're so incredibly precious. And basically you just stick it on the rim of your mug and it's just a little friend with your morning coffee. And last year when we tried these for the first time, I don't know if you remember, but we were kind of like underestimating them because they're so cute. That's what we typically do. If something's super, super adorable, we feel like typically the taste isn't prioritized, just the cuteness is prioritized, but these actually have amazing flavor. Mm -hmm. They still do, especially with your morning coffee. I just love it. Yeah, those are good. Okay, three, two, one, five. Four and a half. Okay. I mean, you have to give them extra bonus points for being so cute, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not to you. Okay. Last two things that we're gonna eat are two. Well, this one is one of our favorites. Should we do this first or the potato chips? You pick. Okay. Well. Let's just do the potato chips and then we'll end with the strong oh, soup. Russet potato chips. Russet potato chips. Christmas I loved with the <laughs> Christmas. I love when potato chips are folded like this. It's my favorite. Yeah, really good. Mm, mm -hmm. 
simple. Mm -hmm. I haven't had potato chips like that in so long. Me neither. Oh, I also love putting them in sandwiches. We should make mm. a sandwich and then put them in the middle. Those are delicious. Kind of random for this haul, I will say, but our palates need a little saltiness with all this sugar. While he's munching on potato chips, let me show you some things that I picked up that aren't something we're gonna try right now. One is this gingerbread kit, and I love this so much. It's this sweet little house. And someone told me last night that it's the story of Hansel and Gretel, because there's Hansel and Gretel, and do you remember the story of Hansel and Gretel? Is it a witch or is it a grandma? To someone's evil lady's house who had like all this candy and she was, yeah. uh, I don't know, a bad actress or something. Fairy tale folk. Okay, well basically they have these little candy people that are fairy tale folk and it's just absolutely precious. Can't wait to make this soon. And then I also picked up these chocolates, which we're not gonna try right now, because again, sweetness overload. But look how absolutely gorgeous the, these are. I feel like this would be a fun gift or just a great thing to put out on a party platter. And then this is one of my favorite seasonal teas, the candy cane green tea. It is so yummy and minty and refreshing. I absolutely love it. And the packaging is adorable as well. And then this was a fun find that could make a fun gift, but it's this little wool pom-pom trivet. I think it's so precious and I love the color palette of it. I feel like it could work for the autumn season as well as the Christmas season. Super cute and looks artisan crafted. And then the last thing is this beautiful mini pine wreath. It is so gorgeous. I forgot that Trader Joe's had fresh wreaths like this. And so my idea is to put this on our dining table and put maybe a candle in the middle or a little decor piece in the middle. And it's just a beautiful, fresh, yummy smelling decor piece. Oh, there's a couple more things. I forgot about these. Okay, so I also picked up this olive wood bowl, which is so beautiful. It's handmade from the wood of non-producing olive trees and it is just so cute. I feel like I might give this as a gift, but it's such a great hosting item. You could put some nuts or some snack mixes in it and it's just a beautiful piece and all of the different bowls had kind of different designs because it's made from the olive trees. So I love that find. And then last thing that's a home item is this cedar balsam scented candle. It smells absolutely delicious, really authentic cedar smell and we love it. Did we rate the potato chips yet? No? <laughs> Something tells me you're gonna say five. <laughs> You've been munching on them. Oh, those, those cheese and crackers. Oh, you've been munching on the cheese and crackers. <laughs> okay, ready? Potato chip rating. Three, two, one, four. four. Okay, nice. I mean, they're, really they're great, but it is hard to compare the ratings, like, because yeah. everything is so different. Okay, last item of the day, we have our mini dark chocolate mint stars. This is one of our favorite items every year. I always say they taste like thin mints. Do you agree? Yeah, the Girl Scout cookies? Yeah. Yeah, I need more than one <laughs> to taste it. Just as good as I remembered. I love the little sprinkles on top too. Three, two, one, four Five. and a half. <laughs> they went down in my rating, I think, because I love the jingle jingle more, so I didn't want to give them both a five. So jingle, I'm thinking about it too much, honestly. Jingle jingle doesn't have any mintiness. So like that's true. Mintiness. That's true. Yeah, that's a good Best point. Diff. Okay, so out of all of these things, what is your favorite item? Maybe the ice cream. Just I love ice cream so much. The ice cream, really? I'm gonna say the jingle jingle. That's yeah, my favorite. That's or the so or even these. Even though I didn't give them a five, did it? no, I did give these a five. I love these and I just think they're so fun every morning to pull out for your coffee, so. <laughs> Yay, well that was a success. We have so many treats to enjoy this season. But thank you guys so much for watching and we cannot wait to see you next. Bye. Bye.